Let's solve one previous question of general aptitude. This question was asked in GATE CS 2023 GA question number 5. Looking at the surface of a smooth three-dimensional object from the outside, which one of the following option is true? And four options are given. We are looking from outside. So it may be filled three-dimensional object or a hollow three-dimensional object. Let's take an example of cylinder. It is a filled cylinder. So here the surface are convex. First understand what is convex and what is concave. So this is convex and this is concave. Suppose a hand is like this, then this outside is convex while this inside is concave. Now suppose we have a cylinder like this. It is a hollow cylinder. Then from outside it is convex and from inside it is concave. Now option A, the surface of the object must be concave everywhere. This is false. By just looking outside, we cannot say the surface must be concave everywhere. Then option B, the surface of the object must be convex everywhere. This is also false. Next option C, the surface of the object may be concave in some places and convex in other places. This is true. It may be combination of both concave in some places and convex in some places. Like here, convex is from outside and concave from inside. So some places it is concave, some places it is convex. So we can say there may be combination of two lenses like concave convex and convex concave. We can say it as convex to concave or concave to convex. If concave have higher degree than convex, it's called as concave or convex. And if convex have higher degree than concave, you can see this convex have higher degree than the concave. So you can say convex or concave. So the surface can be convex or concave or concave or convex. Next option D, the object can have edges but no corner. In this example, there are edges but no kernel. There are two curve edges at top and bottom. One curved surface and two flat surface, top and bottom, but there are no kernel. Suppose we will take an example of three-dimensional cone. Then in that cone, there is a corner. So it depends on the three-dimensional objects. In case of cylinder, there are no corner, but in case of cone, there are corner. So answer will be option C. Option A, B are false for all cases. Option D is false because in some cases there may be corner, in some cases there are no corner. So option C is true. The surface of the object may be concave in some places and convex in other places. It may be combination of both concave and convex. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.